Okay, I have disconnected all the water, all the waste. Now what we've got to do is to push this sink up and out. Come on, keep coming. Boom. Okay, go easy. Break, now you got it? Okay, that's snugged up. I tell you, I like to do as much pre-assembly as I can up here. That makes a lot of sense. Not a lot of room to work with down there. Yeah, it's gotten smaller underneath kitchen sinks lately for me. All right, so I've got the basket strainer installed. We put a little bit of plumber's putty right here. It's a good sealant between the sink and the basket strainer. A little more of it up here. This is just a little bit of insurance. It's got a gasket already, but I like using putty whenever I can. Can you hold that in place? Sure can. Now we're just going to cinch it up. You should see that putty start to ooze out. This is a good time to think about changing the garbage disposer. So some of the steps start with putting some putty on this flange. Now I want, what I want you to do is to push it through from that side and hold back against the sink, all right? All right. Now give it a push. Okay. And now there's a batting order on this side. Here we go. Series of rings. First, second, third. And now the last is a snap ring. And once I get that, hold back against me. Okay. There's the snap. And now I tighten up these screws and cinch it up. Keep it right near the edge. Okay, now I want to set this sink in. We want to be really careful. I want you to hold this up. I'm going to go underneath okay. and I'm going to catch it. Ready? Keep bringing it in. Bring it in to me. A little more, come on. Hey, keep coming. You line it up exactly when it's right over the caulking. There it is. Looks square everywhere? Looks square. Perfect. Okay, just make the electrical connections down here. And we're ready to put the disposer in. A little wire nut. Okay, now I have to make up my hot and cold connections to my faucet. Now this is a basin wrench, really a crucial tool for these tight spaces. It allows me to get up inside places where I can't get any other wrench. Let me just snug that for now. There we go. Okay, so I've dry fit all my new PVC work. And now I just got to glue it all up and we're good to go. Okay, water's back on. 